Hello viewers, today we're going to be taking down this Hampton Bay carriage house ceiling fee in and we're going to replace it I think with one of these high breeze fans because I haven't used those yet since I got them and their installation requires three different things which are all here at the moment and they're very easily lost so I kind of want to do that while they're still here plus I'm intrigued by them in general that's why I bought them I thought about putting that thing up because that one looks kind of complicated to install so I don't want to hang it and then have to take it back down and then hang it for the video and then take it down and hang it for storage. I want to just hang it for the video and then hang it for storage and be done with it. So I think I'm going to hold off on that even though I would really like to get it off the floor. Now we have to be very careful with these shades because they're very difficult to find. And if these break, I don't have any more. So, what something just fell out of there. I wonder what that was. I don't see anything that should have fallen. Anyway, so we just got to be very careful with this, which is fine. Just go slow and take the time and nothing should go wrong. Famous last words. <laughs> And this is the, I think this is the first Silent Fan video I'm recording with the Ghost Pro camera. And this was one of the use cases that I had in mind when I bought it. So hopefully this takes a pretty good video. I always found it was kind of difficult to record Silent Fans with the other camera because, you know, I would usually need to see it myself better than the camera would so that I could get the task done. And then I would end up sitting in front of the camera or something and you couldn't see anything or it just wasn't at the right angle or something wasn't right about it so I'm thinking that this may be this may work out pretty well and uh, give us a good video angle hopefully so uh, we'll see I've been pretty happy with some of the other videos I've recorded with this thing as long as I'm paying attention and doesn't get switched to time lapse or some other nonsense like that. Okay, that's all the shades. Now let's get the blades off. I think we should use this bit. Yep, it's the thickest one I have. And it's usually a pretty good fit for uh, sewing fans. I believe the screws don't come out all the way of these irons, which is really nice. Makes it super easy to take it down and put it back up. Huh? That one came out and the washer certainly came out. I heard it go flying somewhere. Ah, jeez. Where did that go? Not good, not good. Now, I'm not sure I want to spend a whole bunch of time looking for washers right now. 
cheese. And I think we're just gonna abandon it for now and hopefully it'll turn up later. The reality is I only got one good unit out of these two, so they're gonna be missing parts and whatever. I'll have one complete one. Even if the washer is missing, you know, I'll just take a washer from the other one. I think half the washers are missing anyways. Yeah, this screw is is missing the washer too. So whatever. It's not perfect, but nothing about these fans is. And now they're all coming out. Why the heck is that one staying in? I think it's supposed to. No, oh, it's not because it doesn't have the AccuArm thing. It's got the holes there for it, but it doesn't have the tab. The AccuArm blades stay in. The screws stay in. I don't know what's going on here. This, this is weird. This should not be operating differently than the others. And it's not at all. What was my problem there? I haven't the slightest idea what the issue was with that. Anyways... Normally I would not stack the irons like that, but since they're already scratched up beyond all recognition, whatever damage occurs from me gently putting them on the table is insignificant. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the motor housing down. I need a smaller bit for that. I don't like this mounting system at all, which is too bad because a lot of the fans I like use it. Okay, now we gotta cut the power off, and I should have turned the light on, the other light on prior to the shutting off of the power. Uh, I don't think I need the screwdriver anymore. Seriously, not connect the grounding wire? Maybe it just came out. I don't know.
that's where the wire attaches. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put this fan back on the cylinder and it's going to go over here uh, where the minuet on the left is. I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to take this thing down so I can get to it a little bit easier. See if I can really reach this good or not. Well, it's not ideal. Um, that should be better. Yeah, that's good enough. This is another fan I want to hang up soon. I've never really done any videos on these, and that's baffling because these are so important in the collection. Really need to do that. Get some video of that fan. That's the Minuet 2. I have been moving these fans around recently because it wasn't making really full use. There was too much space in between. So I've been kind of moving these around so I can fit more in there. So I'm gonna make sure I mount this over just close enough that it'll still clear, you know, but not hit anything. So I think I'm going to put this right about here and I think, well, let's go like, like that. And uh, I, I usually try to install these on somewhat of an angle so it's easier to put the screws into the housing, but I don't think I'm going to bother securing the housing because this is just for storage. It's kind of a waste of time to hook up the housing and everything when it can pretty securely rest on the light fixture and not be an issue. That is screw isn't going growing is going in crooked tisk. It doesn't really matter. It's still gonna be secure. What the heck? Ah cheese. You know, what just transpired is a light bulb broke. You know, I really got to take these lights down. I, I keep thinking I should take them down. And I just never do. And now, this really is a good reason to take it down now. Because now we've got glass shards here. 
I'm gonna have to take these down before something else happens. They just get in the way more than anything else anyways. Oh, it's gonna be fun getting these things down. <laughs> oh, that's why I haven't taken them down because it's gonna be really a frustrating process, but it's gotta get done. Oh, it almost happened again. Maybe that'll be a weekend project for this weekend to take those lights down. Yeah, because it's just, it can just sit like that. That's fine. It's not going to cause any harm to anything. So what I'll do is, I'll just take these two screws and I'll just put them in here. Or, I could put them in the bag of screws. I guess that would make more sense for consistency. I'll put them in the bag of screws with the rest of the screws. Trying to make sure that we do things that make sense. Now this is going to be a nuisance because all the wires have to get jammed in there apparently, which is annoying. I really don't like these mounting brackets one iota. They're difficult to use. They're usually noisy. The fans always seem to hum quite a bit when they're, they're this kind of bracket. The wiring is a pain. They just universally stink. Okay, so now all that's left to do is put the shades up. On another note, I should take these wires out too because they're not really serving any purpose either. And if I'm going to pull all that stuff off the top shelf to clear the wires out, I might as well do that. And get those out too because they're just going to have to come out eventually anyways. There's an old switcher up there for the AV system that used to be over here. None of that's used here anymore.
this is going to be an issue now. This is all flaky. Something's not sitting in there quite right. The band is getting caught. It's going to have to just come off. It's too decayed. Okay, that's good. All those safely moved over. And just for extra security, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the light bulbs back in just so that if the screws came loose or something let go, the bulbs would catch it and we wouldn't have to have a catastrophic failure of the shades. Something broke about this this particular fixture. The uh, screw thing is all loose there. I don't know what happened. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, the next task is to put the next fan up. So we're going to have to put up this. And I'll grab this one for now. It's the same fan. But I'll grab this one and we'll put this one. Ouch! Oof. That was really painful. Ugh. Okay, um, I'll put this one up, and so this should, hopefully that'll work. Yeah, I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. The only difficult part is going to be trying to figure out how the, um, how the remote receiver is going to sit in there. And I have to use this because I don't have the wiring for a wall control. resources in here simply don't exist for that which uh, was kind of dumb because if it was put in differently what was I doing over here oh, I hit the wire nuts if it was put in differently it could have very easily had the allocations for a um, two wire situation But I'm not going to change it now. It's not worth the time. 
just make sure it's correct the next round. Okay. Got some wire nuts here. Turn this light back on. Turn this lights off. And let's go ahead and screw this up here. And then we'll make our connections. Okay, great. Now the fin. Cool. And this contraption. Okay, so the uh, fin will go to this side going to cap that off because we're not using the light because there isn't one goes to the mains. Okay, and then the ground is just Kind of irrelevant in this case because there's nothing here to ground. And this is where the problem is going to come into play because the remote receiver doesn't really fit in here correctly because this is not mounting the way that the remote is intended to mount. You know, in theory, it's supposed to go like above the canopy. But that's not going to work in this case because it's uh, doesn't fit. And I'm not quite sure what the workaround would be. I don't know if there's a smaller remote receiver I could get. And obviously the correct answer is to use a wall control, but in a case where you can't, like this one, you know, how do you generate the speeds? You need the remote. So, let's see here. There's probably no battery in this thing. Yeah, how did I guess? Um, oh, it's already on. Well, at least know it works. Highly doubt that either of these have any power left, but let's just see. This one has any power. This one has a little bit of power left. Not enough to make a transmission, but the light is ever so slightly illuminating. Okay. Oh, you know what? It did make a transmission. I think. Or is it just coasting down? I don't know. Anyways, I'll go get a battery. Okay, I got a battery. It's a nickel metal hydroid battery. OK, 
Okay, it's working. So we're going to stop with that for a moment. And I'm going to uh, put this other fan away because it's getting late or I'm getting late and it's getting tired and um, if I have to stop and go to sleep I'd rather leave that fan partially installed than leave these screws all over the place Jeez, these screws are flying everywhere tonight. Okay, so we should have, uh, we should have, let's see, 15, not 15. Uh, yeah, 15 of these, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Those are all accounted for 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Those are all accounted for, there's a small collection of four lock washers remaining. The rest are somewhere in the Postal Service because of a scammer and those two there. Okay, so now let's get a bag. This can go back up before this gets messed up. Let's put this back here. And then I gotta, I gotta hang up that minuet again. Um, it could go right in there, I suppose. Maybe that's where I'll put it. Because that can't just be floating around either. Okay. A bag. larger bag just so it's not as easy to lose it I have a collection of bags over here let's take a look and see what we have we should have um, a lot of these are gallon bags but there should be some smaller ones in between here we go. Uh, are these it? Yeah. Here's what I wanted to use. We we'll use one of these bags. I could use the small one. I could fit all the screws in the smaller one, but this one is easier to put a piece of paper in and 
it's harder to lose this, you know, because I put them on top of the canopies there. So this is just, whoops, oh dear. This is just better. Now this is connection lost. Wonder if the camera is still recording or not. Gotta take a look. It was still recording just fine. I don't know why that thing said that. I hate those stupid things. I need it for the preview though. I have no other way to set it up, you know, make sure it's at the right angle. Wish you could view it on the computer. That'd be a lot easier. Oh, easier for me anyways. Okay, so now we're gonna get a piece of paper here. And we're gonna make a notation. Fifty-two inch Hampton Bay carriage house. This is the white and brass one. SMC, because the other one is air cool inherently. And I'll put that in the bag with the irons. And now I gotta get some um, bubble paper for the irons. I don't feel like climbing over that fan again. We'll just go out this way. Oops. Okay. So I like to use the thinner paper for this case. Uh, probably could use that or this would be easier to get to and I'm knocking the whole pile over. This may be more of the correct length. Let's go with that. It's a hair long, but not much. Okay, so I do this. And stack them up like this. Well, actually, this isn't really all that much longer. In fact, it's just about the perfect length. Okay, we're going to need another piece of paper. Then I take some tape, which we're just about out of tape. Where is the tape? I gotta get some more tape. Is this tape on the list? Blue tape, it is. Ah, fudge. Not even gonna have enough tape to finish this. Well, just barely enough tape. Um, geez, how am I going to secure the blades together now? I wonder if I have any other kind of tape. Well, now this is like 
priority one critical I gotta get more tape I guess I could use this tape but that tape don't come undone as easy oh here is some more of that kind of tape it's way too thick but I gotta work It'll accomplish the task well great now I can't get this draw to close I don't understand why it doesn't close. I understand it because why would the drawer just close and operate correctly, but why, what is it stuck on? Oh, I see what the problem is. Well, that shouldn't at all be like that. <sighs> so I gotta rearrange this stuff. Yeah, that's not gonna work the way that is. I gotta fix that too. Jeez. Cause you know what's gonna happen is the whole thing is just gonna fall. Well, here's the problem. When we take off the heavy item, this is the heavy item. So I'll just take this off of there. And it should alleviate the issue to some extent. Enough of an extent that I'm comfortable with leaving it the way it is. Now it's still not quite right, but it's better than it was. That was awful the way that it was. I gotta fix that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that now because it's just not the way it's supposed to be. I think what I could do to solve the problem is put some kind of a board across there. I think I have something that'll work. Something like this. This is probably too wide. way too wide of course about three inches too wide okay well, that's not gonna work hmm well I guess the other option is I'll just have to change the way the way I have the shelf stacked up I can try and stack this stuff somewhere else you know because if this is on here like this that should be okay because the weight will be evenly distributed it's kind of bent now so it's always going to have an issue um, let's just see if I could stack this up a little bit differently not even sure what exactly this stuff is. 
I know what most of the stuff in here is. have been stacked twice high. Okay, well that's all right like that. Uh, maybe, just maybe. can finagle this to balance here. Oh, I think I'm going to get away with that. Eh, it's not something I want falling. Not that I want anything to fall, but the stuff in here would break if it fell. This is caving in too, because that's not meant to be stacked on the side. I gotta fix all of this stuff around here. This is all screwed up. If all that's out of place is that one box, I can deal with that to have it corrected. And this will just have to find a new home. That's fine. It's not so bad. Okay, I need the paper for that. All because I ran out of tape. I think that thing has leaked the refrigerant out because it keeps icing up all the time and never used to do that. So now you gotta keep turning the thing off, you know, because it just turned into a block of ice. You gotta shut it off, you know, for a day or so, let the ice melt off and then it'll start working again. And, you know, it's just all this junk. It's not made properly anymore.
the camera just ran out of charge and this is good because I still got another I got my second battery I still got a third one left and this will more than get me through the night so I think it was a good move to buy that third battery and that crazy power thing that came without a power cord because now I can charge up that first battery while I'm still using the camera and that I think is pretty valuable Okay, so um, yeah, <laughs> the the blades are supposed to go under there, but it's full. So for now, until I clean clean that up, I'll just put them over here. Uh, oh, they're not gonna fit there either. Well, up here is the next option. And they're not going to fit there either. So, yeah. And they'll go up here. This is ridiculous. I got to clean up over there. Okay, so now we have the irons and everything. These can go away. See, this isn't blowing out hot, it's just like, hear that crack, it's ice. I think that's the box of irons right there. I really don't feel like taking all that stuff out right now. I'm just gonna put the irons here and I'll put that away later because I'm gonna have to take that stuff down at some point for some reason deal with it then now the um, this has got to go up on the ceiling that's higher priority than putting the blades back onto this other fan so gotta get some new screws that's the other thing I gotta get is screws I want to get um, some grounded plugs some outlets I don't need another ceiling fan remote because I found the other one. So I need, um, what the heck were we just talking about? Half inch wood screws. Or it could be three quarters, whatever. I don't got a lot of screws in here and that one's really long I guess I could use that one uh, that's not a wood screw that's a sheetrock screw but we're gonna use it anyways because sometimes you got to work with what you got even if it's not what it's supposed to be in fact, a lot of times that's what you gotta do. You gotta work with what you got. So, let's get this up here. It'll go, uh, 
should go up pretty easily. Or reuse one of these sets of holes. I think this one should be fine. And of course these stinking lights are in the way again. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna put some time into taking those down because they're really starting to become a nuisance. Good. Okay. Pretty good, uh, alignment there too, only wasted about a half an inch. Perfect. Okay, so well, we got 915 here. Yeah, let's keep going. So the blades are in the pie box here, of course, under all this stuff. So we're gonna take all this stuff off of here. Well, this box is falling apart. That's not good. Not good at all. Too bad I have no packing tape with which to fix it. This may or may not work. Well, that's looking pretty good, in fact. Maybe it'll work fine. Well, I think that'll work. Hopefully, screws are in here. Yep, they are. Good. And this is the irons, I think. I don't know. The irons look like they're on there already. What is this? Uh, the wall choke. That's what that is. Okay, oh, that's a nice finish. It's a steep pitch, too. He should move some air.
there's already some screws in here which is kind of weird I guess it goes like this I don't understand why there's already screws in there they seem to be randomly placed that looks like it was in there since the factory it's painted well, I'm not taking those out Hopefully that's not creating a whole bunch of wind noise in the video. No, I'm not going to show it running with two blades. Just not. Something ain't quite right with that screw. The threads is jacked up. I'm not using it. This apparently needs to be tightened because it doesn't stay where it's supposed to. Pay good money for these fans and the seller packed them correctly which is good so they arrived here in proper condition the only thing that's wrong with them is the brass is tarnished a bit but that's normal you know just from age these fans are probably 40 something years old now these are a product of the 80s they're getting old There's the informations. High breeze fan, 110 volts. Maybe it's older than I thought. Usually the 110, if this is 110, it's pretty old. You know, like at least 70s. These could, maybe these go back to the 70s. I don't know. I'm not good with all these dates and stuff. Some people know all these dates and the time frames and everything. I wish I knew, but I just don't. I don't know a lot of model numbers either. I can never remember the, the model number stuff. Just tighten everything up and then we're going to be good to go.
Okay. We're done with this. We'll switch this off. Yeah, this is this is moving too freely. I gotta tighten those bolts up on the side or the nuts. It should be easy to fix. Perfect. Fixed. Okay, now let's get this fan going. Where's the remote? There it is. Start off on the low. I can't tell if it's making any noise because the uh, air handler is running. I wish it wasn't because I want to know if these are, are going to be quiet on this remote control. this and I'll, I'll put the other mount on this thing or uh, okay, I'll restart this for a second I just found the washer for that other fee and it was sitting down there unbelievable I thought it flew over there somewhere whoops I knew it would turn up eventually, that's why it wasn't worth flipping all over it. Okay, now we got five washers. One for each blade. Great. Okay. Running at low speed now, pushing a significant amount of air already. Very thorough breeze under that thing. Let's see what's a good place to mount this. Right here on the shelf is pretty good. Work for this clip being in the way. somewhere else that's all okay so that's low it's uh, running pretty good a little bit of shake but not too major it's only J hook so if it's not in absolutely perfect balance it's going to shake a bit let's go up to the medium It's already going pretty fast and it's already moving a lot of air. <laughs> wow, this is going to be very powerful. Why did that just get all screwed up? Now, I could exaggerate and say, oh, it's so powerful the fan blew the camera over. But, you know, exaggerating is lying, so we're not going to do that. Alright, let's go to high. Oh, wow. Yeah, high breeze, no doubt about it. Holy cow. That's falling.
balance isn't too bad. It's a little bit out, but nothing major. lifting up this entire piece of bubble. Look at that. Took that clear off the ground. This thing is no joke. This would be good for the computer room during uh, Christmas time. It gets pretty hot in there. That's insane. Wow. I knew these are powerful, but this is ridiculous. That kind of a weird high frequency sound to it though metallic kind of sound. It's pretty loud. Can't tell quite how loud it is with the ear thing running, but I can hear it over the ear thing, so it's definitely pretty loud. But it's not loud for nothing. It's, it's flinging out the ear like crazy. Wow. And the blades are pitched up, well not pitched, but they're angled upwards a bit to try to circulate the air out further away from the fan. That's a pretty brilliant design. Yeah, these are serious fans. That sound goes away on medium. I, maybe something just loose up in the canopy or something. It sounds like a screw vibrating against something. This is like high on a typical household fan. And this is a medium on this fan. I can't imagine having to use it higher than this in most cases. Well, this isn't the video of this fan, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off, but wow, I am really impressed with the performance of this fan. I suppose to wrap up the video, I should put all that stuff back over there. Now let's put these screws back first. There's a rod and pin in there. I'm not sure what that would have gone to. Maybe one of them had a different kind of mount or something. I don't know. Let's 
see anything else in here. Uh, where was this? This has got to go back in there. Put this thing back up. Yeah, I gotta do something better than this. This kind of stacking thing is really getting out of hand. A lot of this is all phones. I just need to go through these and video them and clean them up, and then I can move them upstairs where I keep all the phones, and that will kind of alleviate this this problem here. If I could stack this like that, probably could. Let's see. I don't really like the idea of doing this, but I don't think it's really going to be an issue. It's more sturdy than I thought it would be. Now we just have to put this crummy fountain and this back up here, which can go like that. That's fine. Um, that's that was everything. Okay. This has got tape all over it. I don't usually reuse this one, it's got tape all over it, but this is such a long piece, I think I will hold on to it and I'll use it for a not so clean application maybe. I'll come across something I gotta pack up, like, uh, you know, dirty sewing fan parts or something, I'll use it for that. I just don't like to waste materials, there's too much too much wasting going on today. Now the cardboard isn't so bad because at least it breaks down, but this is, this does not. This stuff just sits there for ages, which is not really correct. No, it's not correct at all. So, anyways. getting damp in here it's 56% that's not damp at all but for the basement see there it goes it just kicked off on defrost 71 degrees it should be able to run in 71 degrees not a problem ah now the other thing is off so we can hear the sound of this it's not bad it's pretty quiet Pretty amount of air it's throwing out. Not bad at all. It's got some bearing noise though. Those are gonna get replaced. No hum using this control. Yeah. A little bit, but not much of anything. Let's see how loud high is. a lot of power to it. 
The motor's very strong, it whips that thing right up to speed. That's pretty loud. That's like as loud as running this on low. Granted, it probably would give you the same amount of air. That's insane. And this is only a, a residential fan. Imagine how much more air to commercial fans that AE's moved. Okay, well that's gonna wrap this one up. This is a long one. But uh, everything went pretty good. Got that other one over there. Minuet, it's hung back up over there. And we got to test these out. I think it's usable as it is. The bearings aren't perfect. I definitely start to hear them. But they don't seem to be in, uh, restricting the performance at all. You can see it's spinning down pretty freely. And um, the noise is pretty minimal. It doesn't bother me enough that I'd want to replace it yet. If it gets louder after running for a while, the motor's not even lukewarm. And it's been running for a good 15 minutes now, I think. If um, That's incredible. It's not even... It's ambient temperature. I'm not making this up. Huh, 86. It's a little bit warm. Okay, maybe I am making it up. I don't know. It feels pretty cool to me. Anyways, um, what was I saying? After the thermometer made a fool out of me, or before the thermometer made a fool out of me? Uh, oh, yeah. I was saying that the bearings... They're not bad enough that I'd replace them just yet, but obviously at some point they're going to have to get replaced. I got to run it for like an hour or two, let it get up to full temperature, and then see what the bearings sound like. Because sometimes they get louder when they get up to temperature. So, we'll see. And maybe this will go into the computer. I'm going to have to figure out something for the control, though, because I don't think there's any way to put that... Um, there's no way to put that thing with the remote control upstairs because it just can't close. So I'm going to have to put a wall control. The, the problem with upstairs is that the, the switch controls the light in the room and the fan. It's, it's one switch for the two outlets. I don't really ever use the light, so I could just ignore the light. That's probably what I'll have to do because... This isn't going to work with that remote. The speeds are decent, but it's just not functional. So we'll see what we can do about that. But that's a whole other video on a whole different day.